All right, and there he is. This is uh, Ashton Edstrom with uh, Mooresville High School. A uh, very versatile young man, does a lot for them on the football field. How you doing, man? Good, how are you? Man, I'm doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Uh, I just have to say, you know, I was uh, impressed with you guys last year. You know, I saw a couple of games with you guys, the uh, West Moran game. Uh, talk to me a little bit about, you know, how emotional that game was with uh, everything that was going on with Gavin. Um, uh, I mean, it was, it was pretty personal. And everything was uh, for him. Everything we did was uh, for him. Cause he, I mean, when he was with us, he was super, um, like, all about the football team. And mm -hmm. all he wanted was the best for us. And he was super, super religious on everything he did. Um, probably one of the most hardest worker, uh, working young men I've ever met. Uh, so, I mean, everything was for him. Yeah, you guys really played with some heart, and that was a, uh, a great win for you guys last season. Um, but I do want to jump into, um, of course, everything going on out here in the world right now. And, of course, with the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, so, what are you doing right now to stay ready for uh, next season? Um, well, first and foremost, uh, in my household, it's grades. So, I mean, I'm making sure my education is at the par. I'm making sure I know everything. Uh, my class is going on. Um, I take all honors classes. Um, oh, okay. I'm, yeah, I'm making sure everything's uh, good. My grades come first, um, and then I'm working out. With all the gyms that are closed around here, I'm very blessed to have my own. Uh, and how, like, in my garage, I have a gym. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm working out. Uh, I'm contacting coaches because, I mean, I had a lot of business planned uh, with the like, upcoming weeks. Like, this past weekend, I had to visit the App State. That had to be canceled. Um, oh, Eastern, again, I had to visit to Kent State. That's obviously been canceled. I had a couple of visits. Um, I had some spring practices to go to for Elon. They were canceled. So, I mean, uh, like now I'm just sitting here contacting a bunch of coaches, talking back and forth, making sure I'm keeping up with the coaches that I've been talking to. Um, mm -hmm. That's about it. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Working on and staying busy, man. That's awesome. Uh, now, going, going back to last year a little bit, you guys had a pretty good season, made the second round of the playoffs. Um, in your opinion, what does your team need to do to get to the next level? Um, i say probably chemistry, keep our chemistry. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the boys that are, uh, will be seniors next year have been uh, playing since about seventh grade. So, I mean, like, i say just keep our chemistry strong and make sure we're the tight bond that, we, that we've been since seventh grade, eighth grade. Um, keep working hard and better ourselves. Uh, make sure we're the best players possible at the time we hit the field for our first game, honestly. Uh, I mean, we're, we're, we're pretty solid. Um, we'll, we'll be pretty solid next year. Uh, we, we, yeah, we lost some key players like Malik and Shaq and our uh, quarterbacks. But, I mean, we have, we have some, some big-time kids who are – some ballers who are stepping up um, next year. So, I mean, I, I think just the main thing is to make sure we keep our chemistry um, strong like it is. All right. Well said, man. Well said. Um, you know, some big news came out today um, about your head coach, um, yeah. Coach Wills, um, going up to uh, Richland's High School in Virginia. Uh, talk to me a little bit about, you know, how he's kind of impacted you in his time that he was there and, um, you know, kind of the experience of playing for him. Um, well, first and foremost, it's been an honor playing for him. Uh, he was one of the, probably one of the best coaches I had. He's, he's very, 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 um, like, influential when it comes mm -hmm. to the wife. Um, he's yeah. very smart when it comes to the game of football. Uh, he's talking some pretty, pretty prime um, examples when it comes to, like, just life in general. Um, one yeah. of his main thing is family. Like, uh, I don't have it on the shirt, but I have one shirt that just has family across, uh, across it, and it's forget about me, I love you. And oh, that, wow. he, awesome. Yeah, he preaches that. Preaches that. Um, yeah. so, and that, that's, probably, that's probably the biggest thing is just um, – yeah, don't don't really worry about what I got going on. Help people around me, especially my brothers that I play football with, and I I sweat with. Well said, well said. That's awesome, man. Now uh, you do a lot of different things on offense, and um, I love your game. Um, in your opinion, what are your, what are your strengths as a player? Um, I definitely gotta say probably my top is my IQ. Um, I'm very smart with the game. I know the game like the back of my hand. I've been, uh, I was I've been I've been playing football since I was probably born. Uh, I've been playing since I was like <laughs> six, seven. Uh, so I mean, yeah, it has to be um, my IQ, my IQ first and foremost. Uh, then I'd probably say my speed. My speed is uh, well, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you, if, if no one's ever seen my speed, um, the uh, advanced game when I had the 17-yard run, uh, that was pretty. <laughs> that that shit was it. Um, yeah, I'm versatile, yeah, like you said. I'm very versatile. 
Uh, mm-hmm. I can play either on the field. Um, you can put me at quarterback and I'll play quarterback for you. Put me at running back and I'll, I'll put my head down and I'll run the ball for you. Put me at slot and I'll catch the ball for you. You put me on defense, I'll make tackles for you. It doesn't matter where I'm at. Awesome, awesome. And yeah, that, that play against Vance, I mean, I, I think that um, – that was one of my favorite plays to see all season long because you don't you didn't see that a lot against Vance. Yeah, and, uh, no. You know that that was a, a highlight play, big time. Um, in your opinion, what's one thing you need to work on to, to get a little better? Uh, well, I mean, I don't really, I don't really say like one thing. I think personally, I work, I work on anything. Um, okay. The football game is always evolving, and there's always somebody out there who's uh, working at your position. So I mean, I always think that it's I can work on anything and become better at every single thing that I do. Um, there's not one uh, one certain thing that I have to work on. Great answer. No, no, yeah, no, no one's perfect. So I mean, there's always something that you can work towards to get better at. Hey, Amen. I totally agree, man. Now you work a lot on football, but away from the field, what do you like to do for fun and uh, just kind of relax a little bit? Oh, uh, okay. Well, I work two jobs. I work at Dunkin' Donuts uh, throughout like the winter, just just to keep uh, you know some money, so I have things to, uh, money to spend on. Uh, say because I want to buy something, I got that. And then my summer job, uh, I work at Lake, so I, I work at I work two jobs throughout school year and throughout football and everything like that. Um, so that takes a lot of time that I got, like free time that I have. But other than that, um, I like to hang out on the lake. Um, <laughs> I really like to spend time with my family and my girlfriend. That's uh, like I said, that's one of my, my main things. Family, I love I love being around my family and my girlfriend. Uh, awesome. Yeah, um, and then probably the thing that takes the most time is probably I eat. I'm trying to gain weight and I eat a ton. So I mean, that's a lot of my time is eating. You know, I wish I had that problem. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. <laughs> um, who are some people you want to thank for your uh, football success so far? Uh, first, uh, first and foremost, is God. Um, if I, if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be blessed uh, with the abilities that I have. Um, I'm, I'm very, very blessed with the, the God-given talents that He has given me. Uh, given me. Um, secondly, uh, probably my pops. Uh, without, I mean, without him, I probably wouldn't need. He's the one who really pushed me to start playing football. Um, he might have pushed me, and he played it. And I, I mean, he, I grew up watching him play. Um, he's all like. Like I said, since I was born, I probably had a, I had I had a football in my hand. So it's awesome. definitely him. Um, he's taught me a lot about the game. Like I said, my IQ is one of my strengths, and it's all from him. Like he's taught me a ton. Um, then uh, probably my coaches. Um, my coaches have taught me a lot. They've got me through things. My teammates, my brothers mm-hmm. that I sweat with. They, they've got me. They've got me through some tough times. Um, like it was. Like if it wasn't for my my family and my teammates, um, my coaches. I probably. I mean. It was pretty tough whenever I broke my collarbone my sophomore year. Um, so oh, wow. they, they got me through it. Yeah, they, they got me through it. Um, especially Coach Wells. Coach Wells is one of them. It's sad to see him go, but I mean, he, I definitely got to say it's been an honor playing for him uh, with the things that he's taught me. And he's got oh. me through it. Great stuff. Great stuff, man. Uh, last thing, you know, is when we talked about eating earlier, I got to ask you. I've been asking everyone else um, your favorite restaurant. And have you ate there since this crazy pandemic has, you know, taken over the world? Uh, my favorite restaurant is probably Outback Steakhouse. I love it some steak. Good choice. Um, <laughs> I have actually, I have not ate, uh, eaten there yet. Um, oh. I mean, every, yeah, everyone in my house, uh, we're all considered essential workers. Um, so we're all like, we're trying to like um, keep our contact with everybody else. So we, like, in case we anything does happen, we do have it, or we do get it. Um, right. Like I said, we are considered essential workers. Um, mm-hmm. like I, said, I, I work at Dunkin', so like, and that that's that's staying open because um, EMS comes through there, get some coffee in the morning and at nighttime, and everything like that. So, uh, awesome. I 100. percent I wish I could eat there, but I, just got <laughs> I contacted with everybody else. I hear you. I hear you, man. Yes, that's sir. that's great. That's great. Um, like I said, man, you're going into your uh, senior year, looking for more big things out of you this year, man. And um. We appreciate you coming on, man. It's good to catch up with you. Yes, sir. Appreciate you having me.